Well, you guys, another actor from the olden golden days has been hit with a lawsuit. So before I get into this um, Warren Beatty article, it's um, been put out by NBCnews.com. I saw this last night and I just started to wonder again, why if this happened in 1973, didn't this person come out before now? I mean, you guys, I know that it is hard to come out and say that this happened to you, but I would think between 1973 and now, which was what, 49 years, you would have mustered some courage to come out, especially at the height of the Me Too movement, right? So sometimes I question the motives of why wait 49 years to come out. And this person is from my home state of Louisiana. So let's get into it. A Louisiana woman has accused Hollywood legend Warren Beatty of coercing her into a S-E-X-U-A-L relationship when she was a teenager decades ago. Yes. Yes, it was decades ago, you guys, 49 years ago, four, almost five decades. Christina Charlotte, Charlotte Hirsch outlined the accusations in a lawsuit filed Monday in Los Angeles County Superior Court that states she was 14 in 1973 when she met Beatty on a movie set. Beatty is not identified by name in the suit, which did include a detailed description of the actor. The defendant acted in television and several Hollywood films, including portraying Clyde in Bonnie and Clyde, a major box office success that earned defendant Doe an Academy Award for Best Actor, the suit stated. By 1973, defendant Doe had acquired wealth, stature, and power as a result of his career and status as a movie star. Let me interject again. So this happened. Um, she claims that this happened in 1973. She was 14 years old and she met him on a movie set. Well, I'm sorry, you guys. I think that it is bullshit to wait 49 years to come out and talk about this. This man, if he did it, should have been, you know, accused a long time ago. He's 85 years old now. I mean, really, I don't care what anybody else thinks. I think that this is a money grab. That's how I feel about it. What are your opinions? But let me get back to the article. Hirsch sued under 2019 California law that opened a three year look back window for claims of child S E X U A L abuse. And I have to spell it out and say abuse not to get in trouble with YouTube, you guys. So stick with me on these words. All right. Uh, for claims of child S E X U A L abuse that would otherwise be banned by statutes of limitations. The window expires on January 1st. So her, the window of her three year look back would expire on January 1st, which is why they're coming out right now in November representatives and a lawyer for Beatty 85 did not immediately respond to requests for a comment on Wednesday. The suit alleges the defendant paid undue attention to the young plaintiff commented repeatedly on her looks, gave her his phone number and instructed her to call him when she was near the hotel in Los Angeles. The suit alleges S-E-X-U-A-L battery. I'm saying that word like that too. S-E-X-U-L assault and harassment of a child. Hirsch suffered emotional, physical and psychological distress including humiliation and guilt, the suit says. The defendant is accused of taking the teen on rides and offering 
to help with her homework. He spoke to her about losing her virginity, the lawsuit says. Hirsch was thrilled by the attention, but she was being groomed, the suit says. The relationship between Hirsch and the defendant, who was about 35 at the time, continued and turned sexual, according to the suit. He used his position and status as an adult and Hollywood movie star to coerce sexual contact with plaintiff on multiple occasions, including oral SEX, simulated SEX, and finally coerced SEX UAL intercourse with the minor child, the lawsuit, lawsuit says. So let me go over this again. They're saying that he used his stardom and his money, all of these things and coerced her into full blown SEX with him after simulation, which means maybe digital or I don't know, humping, I don't know. Um, oral, all of those things. Okay. Hirsch thought she was involved in a romantic relationship with a movie star. According to the lawsuit, Hirsch is requesting a jury trial and past, present and future damages to be determined at trial. The suit also asked for compensation for attorney fees. So is she going to take him to court and have him thrown in jail? No, they're asking for money. So if this had happened to me, isn't this called statutory R word, right? The hard R word, this violation of a human being. So wouldn't you want someone who did that to you thrown in jail? No, they're asking for money. So let me know what, and I'm not shaming her. I'm just questioning what the motives are. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. And by the way, I have this photo in the video of Beatty and his beautiful wife, Annette Benning. They were married in the 1990s. I don't remember which year, maybe 92, somewhere in the 90s, but they've been together since then. And there have been no rumors, incidents, um, accusations about anything. This marriage has seemed very stable and I've never heard anything about Warren Beatty abusing, using, coercing women. I've gone back and read about some of his, um, relationships with other stars and models. And guess what? They, no one had a bad thing to say about this guy. So let me know what you guys think in the comments.